Welcome to Webstyle Press. How to use Tailwind in React.js. So you usually create React.js app by using Create React app or Vite. According to the Tailwind CSS docs, Create React app does not support custom post CSS configurations and is incompatible with many important tools in the post CSS ecosystem like post CSS import. So they highly recommend using Vite, Parcel, Next.js or Remix instead of Create React app. They provide an equivalent or better developer experience, but with more flexibility, giving you more control over how Tailwind and Post CSS are configured. So this is also another reason to use Vite and Next.js. Also, right now, Create React app is installing React.js version 19, but is not ready to handle it. So in this tutorial, we will use Vite. We will start from scratch. Create React app using Vite by using this command, open terminal, and this is our project name, my project. Close the terminal, go inside the project, start the terminal here, install Tailwind CSS by using this command, npm install dash d, Tailwind CSS, post CSS, out of prefixer. And after that, we'll have to use this command, npm Tailwind CSS, init dash p. It will generate Tailwind config file and post CSS config file. Let's go npx Tailwind CSS init dash p. Done. Create Tailwind CSS config file and post CSS config file. Okay, now we'll have to configure template paths in tailwind.config.js file. Let's open this project in code editor. Here is the project and this is the tailwind config.js file. Here we can copy this for these bots. Replace this code in the tailwind.config.js file and then inside index.css file we'll have to add tailwind directives. These src folder index.css now we can replace this code from these Tailwind directives. And that's it. Let's run the app. npm run dev. App is running here. This is the app. Let's go to app.jsx. Remove this code. They have provided some code with Tailwind classes. So let's use that here. And we don't need this and this and this is working now this is using tailwind css underline font bold and text 3 1 if i remove this we get this so pretty simple so the docs are good follow these to use tailwind css in react js app okay i hope it helped like share subscribe and i will see you in the next one